Hortons to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. Mm. But his information won't come cheap. 
You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Uh... No. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. <sighs> there are a lot of things to investigate here. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Um, why do we bother? Um... Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. <laughs> if the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. <laughs> what happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. 
People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. Well, fair enough. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Bar Levon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Hmm. I should go. Yeah. Up, Better get on. I'll be over in the on with it. Office if you need anything else. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Ooh, money. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Oops. Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I want to know what makes howdy. them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. So how do I scan them? Just... Oh. Actually, just click on it. I think I saw one over here. No, I haven't spoke, Commander. Hmm. Thirty credits. It's not a lot when you need thirty thousand for a gun, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, let's just quickly see here. I think there was one over here too. Right, there probably is. Or no? No? Hmm, weird. Weird. Um, Warts. Colston.
Those were Saren's men. Perimeter clear. Okay, weird. Relax, don't do it. Burp, 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 don't do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Better leave. <laughs> Trying to save humanity. Oh man. I got business here, but not with you. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Commander. What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am, a tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? Honey. There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Heh, <laughs> no thanks. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset. Not now. Watch the show. <laughs> the show. Is that her name? Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? I have no quarrel with you. Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Mm, caught in the middle. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Hark and have a drink? Let's see where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. 
Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? <laughs> you must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my time. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Ah, oh, you're lying. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right in your face. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Unless I heard he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me uh, drink in peace. F you. The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Yeah. I will enjoy the club. Anything else in here? Uh, I guess. Okay, never mind. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. in here Ooh. 30 bucks that's what in here and 12 XP Second time it says that. Professional opinion, sir. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart?
council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. <laughs> they probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. <laughs> What's not to like? Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Man. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? <laughs> Alright, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, I am. ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Uh... What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Hmm. Sure, why not? Money. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Do I need to flirt with him every time I get? Why? Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. <laughs> Probably. for now you're commander Shepard the hero of Eden Prime I am so honored to meet you nice to meet you and you are my name is Conrad Conrad Werner they say you killed more than a hundred geth on Eden Prime hmm I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I suppose. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Ah, I'm stuck. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me sure. see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see.
totally lost. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm back where I came from. So there's mm, nothing down here? Weird. Well, I guess I might as well go somewhere else. Um, med clinic. Is that a new view? Gave us some more XP. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Hostiles. Negative contacts, Commander. Hmm. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot. But she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Um... Mm. 
And let's see here. Wait a minute, we could take the car. Oops. Uh, seasick. Oh, seasick. Um, I can't remember where it is. Oops. Um, I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. That's all the CSEC officer wants. Why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. <laughs> Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Yeah. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Ah. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. He gave me experience? Weird. I wonder if I... No, I didn't scan this. Um... Oh yeah, I set a wave point. Yeah. 
We're actually done more missions or more, you used more time here in the Citadel than any other place. Let's try and get to that exclamation park. Park. Yet, but there was something else. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. <laughs> You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, Despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Mm. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. 
What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. <laughs> Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. Mm. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. <laughs> Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Well, I guess, uh, since your government is always shifting and stuff like that, maybe that's why you're not having a seat on the council. Uh, yeah. uh, seat take its quarters. Maybe. See if you can't find... I can't believe I landed a job here. A Human delighted welcome. It is good. To oh, not in here. Apparently. Shepard. What can I do for you now? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. Oh, I don't I've make a here. habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Mm. Cross room. Select the defense maybe try or see or determines where to try. So it's not in there. Time to talk now. I'm very busy. Can't you just change the floor? Uh huh. Oh, 
I can't set the... C-Sec Academy, yeah, 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 but how the heck? Don't know where the C-Sec Academy is. The C Sec Academy. Welcome to Presidium. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Uh, finance district. Let's just move somewhere, see what the map says. Alleyway. Can't you... It's kind of weird. Oh, it's already scanned. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Where is the CSEC? First office. Fist's office, sorry. It's not here. How the heck? You can't... You can't tell me to... Find the... Uh, CSEC Academy. Try the finance district. Oh. Hmm. We actually got a mission down here. Let's go for that. Ugh. Coming up in four hours. Should be ending the stream soon. Let's just go for this one. And then... Let's see. Next time you see if you can't find Rex. Don't know why I can't... Maybe it's the floor we don't have access to yet. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. <laughs> what drew you back to the city and to the consort? <coughs> I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt cold. That's not strange. Many of us have the same. Though you are the first of your Commander, 
I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. <laughs> Let's talk payment. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Sure. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Um... I don't know what that was. No tr trinket? Uh. Well, I don't know. Um. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Yeah. Let's go out here. Oh, this place is. So beautiful. This is, is, is problem. I can't remember how the game looked as I was talking about earlier. Um, but some of the some of the stuff looks real good, um, but it doesn't really look, you know, like I don't. I know I'm not playing 4K. I'm only playing 1440, but. Out in the distance, there is, is it could be clearer if you ask me, but otherwise, it looks great, it looks real great. But I think uh, we're gonna leave it here four hours. Uh, that's the time I have um, for that today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I definitely uh, enjoyed the beginning here. Uh, we are pretty much done exploring the citadel i think uh, so we should should be able to next time to go out uh well we still have a, a little bit but then we should be able to go out and um and see um see some more stuff out in the galaxy um uh, using all the mass relays and stuff like that so yeah i hope you enjoyed yourself uh and if you did please consider giving the channel a follow so you don't miss next time i'm streaming which will probably be next Sunday. Um, Wednesdays, I think I'm going to continue playing Satisfactory on Wednesdays. Uh, if work's permitted. But, yeah. Uh, this stream, as uh, all the other streams, will be going to... Um, will be going to uh, YouTube. My YouTube channel. Uh, check it out if you want to. Um... I think the last thing I just want to do is wish you all a great day. Have fun gaming. Bye. <laughs>